What happened with Kishane Thompson? Triple jump prodigy. Jaden Hibbert. Major injury. And now major surgery. Roger Stoner and his coach, Ryan Kauser. Wow. The It Couple says, Black is beautiful. Do you agree? And more. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to grow. If you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops you drop a video. At least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, for the other content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, he is definitely the triple jump prodigy. Jaden Hibbert currently holds the world under 20 triple jump record, as well as came fourth in this year's Paris Olympic Games in the men's triple jump. He was injured, by the way, and is one of the top five in the world. Well, the youngster is having a mixed, a very, very mixed year, so to speak. Word is that Jaden Hibbert was severely injured, major injury, and now he has had to have major surgery to fix this injury. TVJ reported world under 20 triple jump record holder. Jaden Hibbert is now go doing rehabilitation after a recent surgery for a torn meniscus. Hibbert competed with the tear during the Oly Olympics in Paris where he finished fourth, which is incredible by the way. The injury the injury also forced Jaden Hibbert to miss the recent World Athletics Under-20 Championships in Lima, Peru, where he aimed to defend his triple jump title and, and sought to add the long jump crown. TVJ Sports understands that the surgery is not expected to affect Hibbert's preparation for the 2024-2025 season. 19-year-old Jaden Hibbert who currently has the third best mark in the world so far this season, is Jamaica's second best ever triple jumper behind James Beckford. I have no idea how this young man competed with a torn miscus and came forth. People. <laughs> I worry about pain that other people. I've never had it, but I know people have had it. Trust me, that, that's a serious pain. So we wish Jane Hibbert speedy recovery and um, looking forward to seeing him for the 2025th. 2025 season. 400 meter runner Demish Gay is closing out his 2024 season with a bang. The former national champion and world championships finalist Demish Gay won back to back men's 400 meter races in Poland and Germany last week. Gay ran 45.62 seconds to win at the 2024 International Wils Wilslaw Ma Ma Maniac Memorial. I hope that's right. A World Athletics Continental Tour bronze in Poland on Wednesday and two days later he won with 45.77 seconds at the Goldenese Oval Dresden 2024 in Germany. Ładnie, lekko, Maksymilian Szwed zbliżył się do biegnącego, do biegnącego Jamajczyka Geja. Hernandez Mendes, reprezentant Brazylii, e, właściwie nie zyskał nic, a chyba nawet troszeczkę stracił. Dobrze biegnie także i jaki kanal. Reprezentant Hiszpanii zbliża się do Hernandeza, no ale Maksymilian Szwed bardzo ładnie. Dobry bieg reprezentanta Polski, który z dość solidną przewagą wbiegnie na ostatnią prostą, na pierwszym miejscu. No i teraz... Nie ma nic przed sobą, nie ma nikogo po lewej, po prawej stronie, ale przyspieszają rywale. Zaczyna przyspieszać Jamajczyk. Jamajczyk naciska Polaka, Szwed walczy. Jamajczyk czy Polak? Jamajczyk minimalnie przed Szwedem. 45 i 63 setne sekundy, a zatem Jamajczyk wygrywa przed Maksymilianem Szwedem, ale był to dobry bieg reprezentanta Polski. No, mam wrażenie, że... Nice way to close out your 2024 season, my boss. Big up. Introducing Peter Lloyd World Merchandise, where style meets comfort. From trendy tees to cozy hoodies, we've got something for everyone. Elevate your wardrobe with our high quality, fashionable designs that make a statement. Whether you're hitting the streets or chilling at home, Peter Lloyd World has you covered. Shop now and upgrade your look with Peter Lloyd World Merchandise. Available exclusively at Peter Lloyd World. Link in description below. 
Back-to-back -back wins for Demish Gay in the 400 meters in Poland first and then Germany. Wow. Die Läufer sind auf die Reise gegangen, auf die Stadionrunde. Langsam wird es dunkel, die Flutlichter gehen an. Oh, Marvin Schlegel, das ist ein langsamer Start. Aber der Franzose auf der Bahn 8, der gibt so richtig Gummi. Sorry für die Bildqualität, da hinten wackelt es ein bisschen. Ja, also jetzt kommt aber auch Marvin Schlegel innen. Aber ich glaube, das dürfte ziemlich spät sein. Der Franzose... Ruik Prévost, aber innen noch Demisch Gay und Efekemo Okoro aus Großbritannien. Wer macht hier das Rennen? Wir wieder hochgehen auf der Bahn 5 mit 45,80. Demisch Gay, der 44er Läufer, lässt sich hier am Ende die Butter nicht vom Brot nehmen und läuft das Rennen souverän. I am certain there's a part of him that's saying, why me never have this farm? early in the season <laughs> anyway um good look and a great way to close out the season now you should know by now that jamaica's akira nugent is now the fastest woman in the world with her recent run and win where she set down a new national record new personal best meet record as well as a new world leading time in the women's 100 meters hurdles of 12.24 seconds you can check out our, our video on that well, after this remarkable run, Akira Nugent paid homage to her 100 meter hurdles idol. She wrote, To my idol growing up, thanks because after getting an injury at the Olympics, I thought my season was over. You hold me and cried with me. To not wanting to, to run the circuit, you hold my hand and told me you got me and you kept your word. Thank you. That is incredible. She, of course, she's talking about none other than the great one, the current world champion in the women's 100 meter hurdles. Jamaica has a very, very special Daniel Williams. Daniel Williams always seems to be supportive. I remember last uh, year before last in 2022 when Toby Amerson broke that world record. She ran straight to Daniel Williams, which says a lot. And um, after, uh, after, and, and the, what you're going to see now happened at the end of not the Rome Diamond League where she set that new personal best and new national record meaning Akira Newton women's 100 meters hurdles this happened in the race right before that which was the Silesia Diamond League in Poland where she ran that 12.29 just outside of her PB at the national record and set a meet record there she ran straight to Daniel Williams and hugged her oh my word She's getting quicker. That is a new lifetime best. And 12.27, that puts her right up there in the top 10 all time. There's only a handful of women have gone quicker than that in history. And just looking for the win. Look, I love seeing this. I love seeing the, the junior athletes um, pay homage to their idols, especially the ones who have directly impacted them, assisted them. And, and obviously, I mean, you should know by now that Akira Nugent, really did not have the best olympic games she she really was very badly injured she's still injured um and basically what she's saying is that it was daniel williams who encouraged her to continue her season who held her hand who cried with her that's a huge deal huge deal big up to you um the great daniel williams and the big up Una knows we, we, we love akira nugent here thought you'd like to see this story well, there can be no doubt that they're the it couple right now in track and field. Noah Lyles, uh, the world champion and Olympic champion in the men's 100 meters, and Jamaica's Janelle Broomfield um, from the 400 meters. And the couple shared this, and why I liked what I liked about this um, was that one phrase where they wrote, Black is beautiful. Black is beautiful. And of course, you know me, I agree 1 billion percent. I don't know if you agree, but I am pretty certain that it's a billion percent accurate and then they share these images they, 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 i mean i understand like, some of the controversy but i do think that this couple is remarkable and look people when people happy they're happy and we, we need more happy people more happy people less stress in the world so i just wanted to share these images with you i really 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 like seeing these two young people together they just look happy and uh, you know we, we need that so yeah Without a doubt, black is definitely beautiful. Now, Roger Stoner um, came to the attention of the world when he 
he surprised surprised many and won the men's discus with a gold medal and and neat record throw for the Paris Olympic Games of 70 meters. That within itself is a massive story. But what a lot of people don't know is that this discus Olympic gold medalist is coached by the three-time Olympic shot put medal gold medalist Ryan. Krauser, one of the greatest to, ever, to have ever done the men's shot put. And some people say the greatest. And I just think this is so cool that um, Krauser, of course, is an American uh, track and field athlete, three times Olympic gold medalist. And just think about the irony of it that this um, shot putter, this American shot putter, was the man who coached Jamaica to his very, very first, very, very first Olympic gold medal in the men's discus. What excitement! This is the 25-year-old right-handed Jamaican, and he's got hold of that. Importantly of all, Ryan Krauser. This was such a huge deal, this young man winning a gold medal, giving Jamaica its only gold medal from the Paris Olympic Games. Uh, you know, a country that we don't normally big up the discuss. But this, I just thought this was huge, and I just thought you might be interested in knowing, if you don't didn't know already, that he's coached by an American coach. Now, it would appear that Shane Thompson, the fastest man in the world for the 2024 season with a world leading time still of 9.77 seconds, which he laid down in the finals of the men's 100 meters at the Jamaica National Trials, seems to have ended his season. Now, he was supposed to run in Cilicia. He did not. He was supposed to run in Rome, I believe, and did not. I might have gotten that wrong. It doesn't matter. He, he didn't turn up for two of the trap meets that he was supposed to turn up for. And some people have DM'd me and said, you know, what's going on? What's happening? And this is a bad thing. And, um, you know, this is, you know, this is terrible. And, you know, he, this, this, this. Uh, I get it. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Whether or not Kishane Thompson runs for the rest of the season is honestly neither here nor there. What happened to Kishane Thompson? Well, what happened to Kishane Thompson is that in his very, very first Olympic Games, he walked away with a silver medal and was beaten by the width of a strand of hair, not the length, <laughs> right? Um, some still think he won. And uh, he has just, and he did something else. He put Jamaica on the podium for the first time since, I believe, 2017 in a major um, world Championship and our Olympic Games. What happened to Kishane Thompson is that he made history. He established himself as one of the ones to watch and the most dangerous male sprinter out there. Now, yes, I concede. Noah Lyles won. And the books are going to put it down that Noah Lyles won. But even Noah Lyles conceded that this is the hardest race he's ever had in his life. And I'm pretty sure he was terrified <laughs> i really am very very sure about that so the fact is what happened to kishane thompson is if kishane thompson is taking a break if he is injured again let's hope not but you know we know that he seems to have injury issues it would be a good thing for his team to pull him out which is apparently what happened when he was supposed to turn up for that first post paris paris olympic games run they said right before he was warming up he felt something funny and they with they pulled him out Look, I understand that many Jamaicans want to see him run against the Americans and clobber them. But at this point, what's relevant is the 2025 season. He's just turned 23. He's a very, very young man with the fastest time in the world. And let's face it, we all can see that yes, he lost, but he lost only because of a lack of experience, which he no longer lacks. Once he stays healthy, he should dominate the 2025 season. My point is, he put us back on the podium. He put Jamaica back in the, in, in the conversation. And everyone is petrified of it. Every sprinter who is worth his worth right now is looking at this young man because anyone who knows anything are, are very, very sure of the fact that the only reason he lost was because of inexperience. Even Noah Lyles knows this. It was just lack of experience. So what happened to Kishane Thompson? Kishane Thompson had a heck of a year. He put us back on the map as a country. 
ran the fastest time in the world, and he has announced that I'm the man to beat. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, we'd appreciate love if you could go over there and check out our stuff at Printify. We leave a link in the description below. If you are inspired to purchase, purchase. We would love that. Um, also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, you are royals, kings and queens. Bless us.